This is Builder Simulator. In Builder Simulator, we are going to be learning the ins and outs of all things construction based. From building buildings and houses, down to building even simple roads. Follow along as I fail continuously, but learn little bits here and there. By the end of this video, if I am successful, I should have a fully built up house. And here it is. In like true OB fashion, I skipped the tutorial entirely, so I have absolutely no idea what I'll be doing over here. But I do know that in this spot, I would like a house to be built. So the first step of building a house would be coming over here to the drawing table tablet thing, interacting with it, and now we can plan out how we want our house to look. So of course, I would like a nice pathway. I think I'm gonna start at the top. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna come down to the top and I'm gonna build a pathway coming out just like that. A nice pathway made of stones and pebbles. Something shiny to really give you that apple razzle dazzle surprise. I then had to build a barren wall as well as a partition wall and perhaps a concrete partition wall. I didn't know the difference in any of these, so I just picked barren wall. I figured the barren wall would probably be the outside and a partition wall might be the inside, so I did what I'm doing now and made rooms or something. And after a little bit of trial and error, I finally had my first blueprint made. I had a first story building. On the ground level, we had a giant pool outside, two rooms and a giant staircase going up to the first floor, which had giant open windows. And just like that, it was time to get started. Now, being a man that knows very little about construction, I was completely overwhelmed. I looked around at the mountains and thought, do I break the mountains down for rocks and cement and use that as my base material? Or do I perhaps have a tablet somewhere or a telephone that I call my dad and he could explain all this to me? And then I looked around and realized, wow, this is going to be a very tiny house. I could walk the length of my house in literally five seconds. That's okay, though. That's okay. I had a lot of machines over here and I had no idea or had any of these work. So I just started clicking stuff and figuring it out as I went. I had no idea what any of this did though. Apparently at some point in the video, I ended up putting some kind of substance into the cement thing. I don't know if it's working as it's intended. So I hit the button and I poked it a couple times. I had no idea what I had just made. I think I'm pouring it out right now, but again, I have no idea how any of this works. And then it dawned on me. Put the wheelbarrow here and slowly lower it into the wheelbarrow. And it worked. I had a 50% mixture. I needed more. I found the shovel and started digging my holes around the outline of my house. And just like that, all my frameworks have now been installed. Now for the reinforcements. The next task on our list. And before you knew it, my entire wall had been reinforced. It was late in the afternoon and I've already made so many mistakes, but finally I had actual concrete. I went over to my little thing and poured it and it actually worked. We were finally making progress towards building our dream home. Now that my concrete was finally poured around the base, I had to dig out the top layer of soil with a shovel. Okay, I thought that would be pretty easy. So I grabbed my shovel and started digging. And easy it was, I was efficient with this shovel. I would have this done in no time. So using my wheelbarrow, I went around the entire plot of my land, gently spreading sand all over the place, hoping and praying that this is exactly how you're supposed to do it, and I'm not supposed to be using a different type of sand. Next, it was time for the reinforcement meshes. I didn't know what that meant, so I grabbed these metal bars here and started putting them in. Surely this would be the correct way to build a house. It looks like it might be. To make sure these metal meshes would stay in place, I had to pour concrete over the entire thing. With my concrete just about poured, I was able to make a sigh of relief. Finally, we had done something important. We had made floor. However, I was being foolish. The floor was only getting started because we needed to put insulation over the concrete. So I laid my insulation piece by piece going around the entire floor. With the insulation installed, we would not suffer the harsh winters or even the harsher summer heat. I then once again had to pour concrete over the entire thing. I was shocked to learn that there's so much concrete was involved in making a floor, but I guess that's how houses don't sink into sinkholes in the future once you're in them. Next, it was time to apply the mortar around the outside of the house. I had to make the motor, and then I had to grab my little trolley thing, which is just a baby shovel, and scoop it in there. And then gently 
piece by piece, tip tap it all over the sides of the house. So brick by brick, layer of motor by layer of motor, I got to work. I had to build this entire wall up with bricks, I think. It also told me to buy and insert lintons. This is a lintels. I had no idea at this point what I was doing with my life or how this house was gonna be completed, but I knew that we were 4% of the way to having a fully built house. And I've only been gone for three hours today. It was at this point that I started realizing that a lot of this didn't make sense to me. Some of these I could only place blocks this high and some of these I had to place them this high. I figured I would just learn as I go. You see, this wall wants to be higher. And then I remembered windows. This is where the windows would go. My blueprints have remembered everything exactly as I had planned. So I got to work. And as I went around laying my bricks, I started leveling up. I went from level one to level two brick layer. I had no idea what this meant for me, but it meant that I was getting better at my job and my house was actually coming to life now. Brick by brick, lintel by lintel, mortar splatter by mortar splatter, I went around the entire house over and over and over again. The seconds turned to minutes. The minutes turned to hours. And before I knew it, I was 26% done and my house was starting to take form. I went for hours on end. I completed the walls. I completed the second story. I completed my roof. It was now time to get to work on the windows and doors. So I went around the building trying to figure out how to put windows in. It was very confusing. I had to adjust it here and there. My guy was not very smart when it came to windows, but he figured it out in the end. I chose for a side sliding window because I thought that would look lovely there. It was finally time to use my drill gun, the only tool that I actually know what it does. So I screwed in my screws, all four of them, one at a time. And just like that, I finally had a front door. This house was really coming together now. And then it was time for the upstairs windows, the windows that I was most proud of. These were the big boys of the house, okay? So we placed that bad boy in, and then we grabbed our little drill gun. We got to work on these screws, and before you knew it, I had a beautiful, beautiful window upstairs. After many hours of screwing in screws and placing wedges and windows and stuff like that, it was now time to buy the stairs. I can buy the stairs and place them here instead of this stupid looking ladder. I bought my stairs and with great excitement, I placed them. But first I had to pick a color. I picked golden. It wasn't golden, it was wood. The game warned me that this was the last stage. Once I started putting this stuff in, there was no going back. There was no modifying it from here on out. Once I laid these things in here, it was going to be completed. I thought, in hesitation, wouldn't the concrete seal and everything in place be the last step before you could make changes? But alas, I am not a construction worker and I never claim to be. This is all a learning project for me. I didn't know how to put these things in, so I beat it with a hammer for a little bit. And then dust came out and I got really scared. I thought the house would collapse and I stopped. What I actually needed would be wall profiles. Because remember, this is going to be a room. And this would be as well. Building a house was a lot of hard work and I'm learning a lot as I go. I had no idea there was so much involved with just putting in a wall. But the last, we can now put in our plaster boards. And now I think we have something shaping up to be very, very nice. And now I remember, I never really did anything with this part of the house. Alas, it didn't matter. I was ready to drill on all my screws. I was getting sick of building houses at this point. It was a lot of work and I wasn't getting paid for this. Next, I needed to buy mineral wool. I had no idea what it was, so I just bought a whole bunch of it. I assumed it was like insulation, but I had absolutely no idea. It told me to put it inside the walls here, but nothing happened when I clicked it, and so I got confused again. And then all of a sudden, it decided to work, but on the outside of the wall this time, I thought this would make a hideous wallpaper, but what did I know? I'm just a construction guy. I didn't plan for this, and what? Screws? I put the sheetrock plasterboard over the wool insulation, and then... Stuff happened. I needed wool, wool insulation, not on the outside, but on the inside. At this point, I was very confused. Wool insulation on the inside of this wall, but on the outside of that wall, it didn't quite make a lot of sense to me. But like I keep saying, I don't know what I'm doing. So I put it all in place and began screwing in my screws. At this point, my house was far from complete. I've done a lot of work, but there was still so, so much more to go. So I decided to call it a day and I would pick it up in the next one. I learned a lot in this video. I learned how not to build a house, but I also learned how to kind of build a house. 
But I hope you all learned a valuable lesson. If you're going to build a house, just pay someone, dude. It's not worth the time.